Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and this is Finery Trees. So uh, from my previous videos you may, may remember the word finery. We know binary which is a factor of two, so a binary puzzle when you uh, increase the number of pieces uh, to a puzzle uh, it, uh, the number of moves increases by a factor of two and finery means it increases by a factor of the golden ratio, phi, 1.618, etc. So for this puzzle, like uh, uh, also my Zigu trees, uh, the object is ultimately to move the arrow that is at the bottom of the hill uh, to move it in the other direction. So all the pieces are identical, that is uh, red, yellow, green and blue are identical and actually uh, the orange and uh, uh, to, uh, to purple they are the same but mirror images. So uh, pieces they can be pointing outward or inward but uh, for demonstration purposes I just made them point in the same direction and the way things move is that uh, the first uh, one can always move and the second one can only move if the first one points in this direction and then this one can move but now this one can't move so let's see move it out no that's not it I keep I keep forgetting the sequence already yeah it goes out this one here yeah and now this one can go um, so it's uh, actually a very interesting uh, sequence and uh, the rule is you can move a piece here from state 0 to 1 from out to in if, this one, if the ones above are 1 0 0 which is out out inward so um, let's uh, show it for the green one um, the one above should be inward and the other two should be outward so outward so we have uh, out out in and now we can move the green piece uh, the light green uh, piece so the uh, the interaction of each piece it's uh, bothered by its two upper neighbor, uh, three upper neighbors so the green one is bothered by yellow orange and red so if the red one is in the wrong direction I can't move the green piece but if the, uh, the red one is in the right direction I can move it and similarly for instance uh, purple is bothered by uh, blue dark green normal green uh, the dark green is bothered by the green light green and yellow and they all interact and um, uh, Iwahiro and Gut Schwantner they made the analysis of the puzzle and actually Iwahiro discovered that this uh, puzzle is uh, finery with base uh, phi and if you try to even further simplify um, it would be a quadratic puzzle and it would be really easy to solve and just to show you uh, this is one uh, earlier prototype where I tried to make uh, the interaction uh, for instance between the light green and the red piece and there was a design error where the arrows um, bumped into uh, things and well um, it, it didn't work so I needed to uh, uh, change it and uh, uh, here is uh, actually uh, a version uh, by uh, Bram Cohen it's called uh, Finery Combs so here we have each piece being bothered by its three upper neighbors and uh, Bram made a version where each piece is bothered uh, by its two direct upper, neighbor, upper neighbors then one not and then one well probably Bram can explain this one uh, better but it has the same uh, binary sequence where you move pieces up and down um, and then um, let's see okay um, up 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 then this one should go up anyway I'm uh, not here to uh, demonstrate uh, Bram's uh, puzzle that he can uh, do for himself um, my question to you about these uh, finery p puzzles where the base is phi um, when we started exploring these we found that it was actually very easy to find finery puzzles where the base is phi so my question to you is 
Do you have in your collection a puzzle that's exponential, where the exponent is not a real num, uh, not an integer number? That is, it's not two, three, or four, but it's a number like phi or the square root of two or some other uh, non-integer number. Thank you for watching.